Hi there everyone. I was down in Lancashire this week visiting family in St. Helens and uh, on the way I popped into Blackpool Air Rifles, say hi to Lloyd and Sean and uh, had a little uh, mini mini shop tour of what's new. So you could call this uh, shop blog one of three, three air gun shops in two days. I told you to drop it in, we'll it, have a look at it, maybe you can drop it in, it's fine. Here we are, Russ Douglas 222, off the cuff, I'm in Blackpool Air Rifles, as you can probably tell, and uh, I'm just flying visit, so I just thought I'd speak to Sean and Lloyd and see if they've got anything, uh, anything new, so without further ado, let's just turn the camera around, and we have, we have the Cricket 2 Tactical, which has got carbon fibre furniture, and in the background that's the same thing is it Lloyd? We've got the um, <clears throat> we've got the uh, Cricket 2 Tactical uh, but with the carbon fibre stock on it. Yep. Uh, they are fairly new, we've had those in for about a month. We've obviously got the wood stock ones as well. Yeah. Um, but the, obviously that's a full carbon fibre stock which reduces the weight. Yeah. Uh, more expensive, £1,795 retail. Right. Uh, but really nice looking thing and, look. and a little bit lighter. Very okay, nice. uh, and what you'll see on the front of it, we've just been just been chatting, haven't we, about silencers? Yep. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start I'm going to start again and explain it so <laughs> so everybody can understand it. Uh, a lot of people are getting these um, these sort of rifles with the chunky chunky shrouds, chunky shrouds on them. Yeah, and a lot of people have got the the original Virac silencers. Now Virac a right. couple of years ago for some reason changed this design. It used to be conical, and now they've changed it to this design. Right. Well, if you watch, you know, if you want to put one of these on that, it looks absolutely. Well, I think it looks pretty hideous. Um, okay, and uh, that looks ridiculous, <laughs> doesn't it? It looks a bit pants. Yeah. So I was thinking, like, okay, so so uh, you know, instead of instead of people having to spend more money on a new silencer, yeah, what could we do for them where they could actually use the original silencers and a lot of these guns with the new chunky silencers? So what we've come up with is a little adapter set. Uh, so basically, set. you get go. four different adapters, yep. uh, and so what you do is, is you can put the adapter on there, and if you look, what's really good is, is they match perfectly. Yep. So that now changes that to that shape, yep. or you've obviously got a small one, yep. you've got another one with a, a, a much thinner you know, it, it actually comes down to a much thinner size there. It tapers more, yeah. Tapers more, so if you've, say, got a brake barrel, yeah. Uh, but like for example, this one, we've got a little adapter that's already cut out properly, so the the silencer fits in perfectly. Yeah. And then if you look now, with that adapter on, that looks sort of factory. Yes. It's, yeah. It's pretty seamless. So yeah. that looks really good. And they're nine ninety five. So instead of buying a new silencer for nine ninety five, you can obviously then take your old Varex silencer, just put it on anything you want. Brilliant. So I think and that's really that's a that's, really cool little. So little, that's a set of. Set, four, set of four, three, all different sizes, and, and then you 3D can. 3D printed. They're 3D printed, but it's evidently a special material. I'm not. I'm not a, a wizard on stuff like this, so no, I don't know. No, what he did was he got the the actual that to match that somehow. Yeah, I don't know the, the filament they've used is obviously very fine because there's no, and the printing is pretty fine because there's no grades. There's no. no, it's very very smooth. Well, that very to me, smooth. that's alloy. And yeah. that sort of looks alloy as well. So yeah. he's, he's done a great job of it. So I'm, I'm really happy with those. So yeah. we've got those. Uh, yeah. And also as well, somebody actually, <clears throat> we were test, testing the Donny FL silencers and we didn't really do, we weren't really over keen on them to be honest with you. And somebody right. said, well, why don't you do your own silencer then? So we've actually had uh, the same guy that makes these. Uh, he's made this silencer, which is all 3D printed, carbon fiber. I think it weighs about 90 grams. Right. Um, and but what he's done is instead of it just being um, 3D printed all the way through, including the threads, yeah. which turns out is a really bad idea because obviously plastic being unscrewed and screwed over and over again, it's going to wear the threads and it makes the things wobble. Yeah. But what he's done is he's actually inbuilt a steel thread into right. it. Okay. So you know, once one, one if you, you can unscrew that as many times as you want, um, and it will. Let's just get that. Let's get that right. There we go. Yeah. Um, so once that's on, that tightens up. That's and going that's, down that, there. That's rock solid. Excellent. So uh, nice and actually, finish. it's probably about ninety-five percent as quiet as an XLK, 
Right. Which at the moment, the XLK is uh, uh, probably the best value. That's, That's the Virac that, XLK. The Viro XLK. That's probably yeah. the best value that you can get right. uh, okay. for its, for its uh, noise reduction. Brilliant. So, so I got, think they look really cool. So you've got the new Crate Tacticals with a tactical stock. We've got the um, uh, sorry, Caliber sorry, Gun, Caliber Caliber gun, gun Crickets. Sorry, Caliber Gun Crickets. Yeah, the reason you're getting confused is because I've got a Crate there. Ah, we've right. just been, it's because we've just been playing with the Crate this morning. That's obviously the new Compact yep. one, which is absolutely fantastic. Yep. And, and weirdly enough, a lot of people ask me, saying, well, that's a really, really small gun, but I'm quite tall. Well, I'm six foot two, and I've got arms like a monkey. Yeah, you and me um, both. And this is adjustable, you see, so yep. you can slide this in and out. Well, I've got so, I've got one of those to review right now, and I extend that to the maximum, it. and it's perfect for my length of pull into my, into yep. my arm. So if it fits us two, yeah. it's going to fit anybody. Isn't yeah, it, it is, so. basically. Yeah. But we've got those in stock as well. And, and this, this fella's so light that, basically, oh. if I hold one of these... I've not videoed this yet, but that's, it's almost an air pistol. It's so light. I, I've measured this uh, crate, this compact one, as five and a half pounds unscoped. Yeah. That's un unreal. Yeah, it doesn't even feel like that to me, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's and brilliant. I, I've, got a, I've got a Catron, uh, and I've had mine for about nine months now, and I absolutely love it to bits. Yes. So obviously the crate is the next model in the range, uh, and that's proved very, very popular yeah. as well. I, well, I, I recently reviewed the, the Air Max Arms Catron C, and that was that's a very nice... Very nice compact carbine. Um, so, and the article that's in the shops right now, I think, is the Catch and See. Yeah, um, but yeah. So we've we've also got the Caliber Gun Tacticals with the carbon fiber stock, and the Caliber Gun Cricket Two. Yeah, the Cricket Two with the carbon fiber stock as well. Same price, seventeen nine five. Brilliant. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice ball pups, both of them. And something I f missed first time. So this is the Cricket Two Tactical. Cricket too smooth, this one. Smooth. Smooth is the carbon fibre stock on it. Yep. And I just well, noticed that in the, hidden in the fore end, we've okay. got... Okay, take it out. So, pop out, fixed length, but basically a pop out bipod. Yeah. Ah, spring loaded, very nice. And that's carbon fibre as well, yeah? Yep. Yep. Very lightweight. Clever idea. Excellent. Yeah, very does, nice. Does the job. So that's... That's obviously only in the the cricket the cricket. So just in the, just in the cricket carbon fibre stock. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Is is that your lot today for the whistle stop tour? I don't want to like give all my secrets. No. Yeah. It is. That's that's, <laughs> that's that's everything new in the last couple of weeks. Right. Um, obviously, we've got more stuff coming. We've got all the AGT stuff coming soon. But I presume you'll have already. Seen. Have you seen the AGT stuff, Russell? News. Um, uh, well, it might, there's all the, there's the prince with the double the twin bottles and all that. Sort right. Of oh, I've not I've not seen those yet. Uh, my, I, when I walked into the shop, I saw the old Uragan yeah, the old, compact that, over the, there. That's right, that's the old one. Which is over the, there somewhere. Yeah, you can just I see it, middle of the screen, yeah. Also as well, if you're coming in, I, I mean, I'm probably not going to see you now for a month or two, but yeah. um, soon we're going to have quite a new, uh, we're going to have a few new Krals coming in. Right. Uh, we've got one called the Kral uh, XS, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's a little right. compact. Okay. Would start amazing trigger on it for a, for well not just for a crowd because crowd triggers have got a lot better now but just yeah. for the price yeah uh, four hundred and sixty nine quid they're going to be absolutely fantastic they look brilliant we've had a couple of samples in and, and everybody loves them we've also got the crowd mortal that's coming in in November right and uh, there's another one as well as a Reximex mortal uh, that's also due in about probably about three weeks time great name. so next time i know they've got some cool names so next time you come in you'll see you'll see three or four new models which Excellent. will be it'll be nice Excellent. not stuff we're importing but stuff that the obviously the uk importers are bringing in right so okay that'll be, that'll be really interesting brilliant well thanks for your time lloyd you're welcome cheers as usual russ thank you yep cheers and uh for you guys you guys watching um i'll have more for you very soon including my own review of the uh, Crate Compact, and I'll be meeting up with Stuart of Vermin Control Scotland, and he'll have a longer one, and we'll compare notes on that. So, thanks for watching. Thanks very much for watching. Loads more coming soon, and in the description below the video, you'll find a link to my Flickr album with detailed photos accompanying this visit.